welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have, well, it's still like, I haven't concluded yet what I melted for the year 2020. So today we have all the miscellaneous. So there's just a few and sometimes only an individual scent from a certain company here, but we have also multiples, but just not enough for their own videos. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today, just miscellaneous. Before I go any further, I'll show you what's on my nails. It's a week on my nails and it's gonna be coming off today, but it's my absolute favorite color. So this is from Color Club and the color is in Will Never Be Royals, number 1210. And one of my absolute, it is my favorite nail polish from my entire collection is chipping only. It's been on for a week, it's coming off today. Um, but it goes purple, it goes blue, it goes like a rusty reddish orange. I love it, you guys have seen this many times. Absolutely love it. I did find this one in particular at Winners, but I know you can look online to a nail polish site and find um, this, no problem. Okay, so let's just get started here. I'm gonna start with Candle Daddy because I have quite a few of them. Candle Daddy was very gracious to send me like a whole bunch of their wax melts and candles. I've already reviewed the candles I've burned already on this channel um, and I'm still continuing to burn them. Actually, I'm burning my absolute favorite candle so far and that'll come up in a, in a video down the road. So I actually melted through quite a few. So we've got, this one here is Morning Wood or Teak Wood. And they've also got some funny names. They've got the one that just says Teak Wood, but this one's also a Morning Wood, haha. -ha. I actually quite like this one, uh, Teak Wood. I don't like Mahogany Teak Wood, which we all know from Bath and Bywords. I don't like that one, but Teak Wood itself, absolutely stunning, love this one. And then we have from, uh, this is Vanilla. And this one was basic. I was not a big fan. Like I've smelled better vanilla from other vendors. What I will say though, you guys, as I sort of alluded to at the beginning, the candles from the Candle Daddy to me are very good. I cannot find fragrances from anybody in candle form like theirs. So I highly recommend their candles. Their wax ones are good, but I have some favorites and I have some, yeah, you know, they're okay. The vanilla, it's very basic, but I've had better basic vanilla. If you love baby powder, you will love this because that's exactly what this smells like. It's fresh, just exactly how you see this picture is baby powder. It's very dry, you know, very, very kind of florally, you know, the talcum powder kind of scent. But um, this one here would not be a, per a repurchase for me, but I do enjoy this one. Like it was good, but I think I'm glad it's done because it kind of dries the back of my throat. Caramel Pecan, I really enjoy this one. There's this one and one other one that has caramel. I'll just talk, I'll bring that forward. So there's cinnamon roll and caramel and pecan. I was a bit worried when I started melting caramel pecan because I was worried that it might be too much cinnamon. Zero, no, this was creamy, caramelized, crunchy, sweet pecans. And this was beautiful. There wasn't the heavy cinnamon on this. I would definitely purchase the caramel pecan again. I would be really interested in trying this as a candle form as well. So 100% would repurchase this one. On the other hand, when it comes to cinnamon roll, you guys know I'm not a big cinnamon fan. Like there's a border for me. There's a line that can get crossed and that one did happen with this. It wasn't as strong on cold, but as soon as it went down on the warmer, it definitely came out in full force. Now, but that being said, this throws very, very well. All of these throw very, very well. But of course, you would find one that you don't enjoy that much and it throws like 20 times <laughs> more than you wish. Um, so Carol Bacon, definitely a repurchase. Cinnamon roll, not so much. Pumpkin spice up in this bitch. So I also have the candle in this form that I haven't burned yet. Um, I like this one. It was just on the border of just too much spice for me. So when it comes to repurchasing this one, I probably wouldn't necessarily repurchase this one, but I do have the candle form. I'm interested to see how that does. I'm not sure if I'll save it for fall next year or if I'll just burn it when I want to. Um, but again, this is good. If you like the spices, like the cinnamon especially, you would probably really enjoy this one. These nuts wax melt. This is a banana nut bread and hazelnut vanilla. I actually got my coconut cookies. That's what I got from it. I don't know why. I cannot explain myself. Coconut cookies is what I got. I didn't get banana. Um, maybe the nut would be like a coconut. <laughs> and there definitely was a bread note to it. Um, but I wouldn't necessarily buy this one again. Had it been like a coconut named 
or themed one. I probably would because it's what it smelled like. A really nice flaky coconut cookie. Like a macaroon or macaron? Macaron? Macaroon. Which one's which? Ah, macaroon. The one with coconut. There you go. So in this little pile here is, um, or was a Canadian company called Tallulah and Poe Wax Co. She has just recently posted on her Facebook page that she's no longer in business anymore. So um, if this video comes up and you wanna check out her website, I believe everything on her website was like severely discounted. So I'm not really gonna go into detail. I'm just gonna share with you what I went through. So we have Festive Fireside, Strawberry Noel, Pink Santa, Cup of Cheer, Lemon Shortbread, Cafe Cubano, Almond Cookie, All Things Spice, Tis the Season, and Vanilla Bean Noel, Sugar, Sugar, Sugar. <laughs> I think it's a Sugar, Sugar. Yeah, there you go. Cheers. Winter Wonderland. What's your favorite color? and Santa's Paws. So unfortunately this company is now no longer in business except for what they have left on their site if it, there's anything at all. All right, so now we're gonna talk about Swan Creek Candle Co. So I bought all of these ones when I was on my trip to Texas to almost two years ago now to visit Ramona, as we all know, Ramona Talk here on YouTube. And we went all over the place, we found lots of melts. Um, I found out that I only like one <laughs> and I know I'm in the minority because when I mentioned this before in a video there's a lot of you guys who find it very strong. I'm going to keep my favorite one for the very end. The three here that I went through in 2020, first of all these cubes are ginormous so keeping in mind like how big that cube is compared to this little cube. So. <laughs> So you can split these in half easily. This is Thai Pear. I really like this one, but the soy wax just doesn't last very long for me. And I wish I got more. I wish it lasted longer and was a little more potent. Leather was quite strong. I do enjoy leather. I had to kind of dumb it down a little bit with some vanilla, but I really did enjoy that one. Um, that one, I will say, lasted quite a while. The Mountain Berry Parfait didn't last very long for me. Again, soy wax doesn't do that very well, but the absolute favorite and staple, I would get a bunch of these if I could find them, is honey soaked apples. And I know here in Canada, or at least where we live, there's the Bass Pro Shops and they do sell this brand there, but I've never seen honey soaked apples, I swear. <laughs> but yeah, they do have a website. If you go online, you can order from their websites as well, but honey soaked apples is absolutely delicious. And I remember when Colin was coming over for a quick visit, I think we were helping him with a taping of one of his uh, auditions and he could smell this melt all the way down the hall. He's like, I can smell it all the way down the hall. So just dis distinctively strong and beautiful. So I would definitely repurchase honey soaked apples. Then we have from the Glitterati Camel Co. Now, nothing mean, I'm not trying to be mean when I say this about Glitterati, but the way that she has her openings, there's no openings. It's Hunger Games. It's basically, you gotta get on a wait list for three years to get her wax. But in the meantime, you can cross your fingers and maybe your hat name will get picked out of a hat on Sundays. I'm just telling you my opinion. Again, I don't hate this vendor. I think she's great. I still follow, I think it's wonderful, but her wax is not better than anybody else's. Um, I think it's just because the FOMO from people, it just became very, it became a thing. And everybody's trying to get their hands on Glitterad, Glitterati Candle Co. Wax. It's good, it's just not exceptional. When you see de-stashes on de-stash pages of wax, you will see that someone, if they're desperately trying to get rid of their wax, they will throw in a quarter of a chunk of something Glitterati because that will get their stash sold ASAP because it's very hard to get this company. I'm just telling you right now, you're not missing that much if you haven't tried it. It's good wax, it's not the best, in my humble opinion. Anyway, I'm just gonna show you guys what I went through. This is a Blue Water Orchid. Next one is Jam Cookie Vanilla Buttercream Crunch. That one I remember being very nice. Sangria Saltwater Taffy, also very nice. And the Basil Sage Mint, very, very beautiful and nice and different to my collection. But again, 
I, I'm not I'm not following on Facebook anymore. I, I'm not going to be part of that whole Hunger Games thing. That whole FOMO, nope, that's not me. I've grown out of that. My wax career is a lot longer and I am totally grown out of that stuff. So anyway, do with you what you want and uh, order or not, it's up to you. Next up we have from Destination Wax, just a couple pe couple little things. So this one here is gifted to me. This is Marshmallow Fluff. This was gorgeous. Hands down would order this again. Smelt absolutely scrumptious. This is from like 2017. Melted it within 2020. Fantastic throw, beautiful. The next one was a gift, um, some chunks from Ramona. I believe that I myself and Patricia nose to toes. Um, she received some of this as well. This is from Again, Destination Wax and Moose Moon Spice Cookie, which is sugar cookie, coffee, Celtic Moon Spice. Gorgeous. Hands down, would have repurchased this one again. Gifted to me again, we have Snoozy Melts. This is from Barrett's Wax Crafts.com. Snoozy Melts, again, was one of those synonymous, well, to sleep. <laughs> because a lot of people would go crazy overboard ordering this for their wax melts for their bedroom to go to bed to relax with because it was like lavender like real like pieces of lavender and there was mint and things like that and vanilla I, I love this and it does I agree with what they're saying they're fantastic now I have never ordered from snoozy or sorry from Barrett's wax crafts yet um, but this if you can get your hands on this one and you like that kind of scent for bedtime definitely check this out because I will agree with everybody who says that it did psychosomatic or not it definitely helped me get to sleep. So next up, we're gonna talk about Southbound Chemico. So I have them in a couple different rooms. She does them in clamshells and she does bags. I prefer the bags personally, but what I wish she would do, with all these vendors, you need to follow them on face on their Facebook page. That's the most important thing. If I can say one thing, that's what I would do. Because it tells you what they're gonna be bringing up, you know, sales, anything like that. Now with Southbound Chemico, I just, I would order so much more if she had more to pick from when she put out her scents. So what she does is she puts a poll out, maybe 15, 20 different scents and people will pick their favorites and that's how she creates the next um, collection or the next round of for sale. So I may only like one or two scents. Well, that doesn't make it financially like good for me because I have to ship it here. So, it, you know, two of these, like these bags are about 10 or 12 bucks setting. Um, and if I only want two and then the shipping costs me more than the actual wax, it just doesn't make sense to me. So anyway, I would repurchase all of these ones again. This one here is Dead of Night and Witching Hour. This is pink sugar, lavender vanilla, fluffy marshmallows, campfire smoke, and sweet gooey marshmallow cream. Fantastic. And again, her shapes are spot on love her shapes some of them are large and you have to cut them and some of them are small and they're just perfect this one here is soda pop shop this is described as classic lemon lime soda pop blended with sugary strawberry soda and fizzy orange soda the person who got me onto this is my friend sarah and i love this so much it was all great on its own but i also used it as a blender and lastly strawberry marshmallow cookies fresh picked strawberry marshmallow cream and frosted sugar cookie Gorgeous. Gourmand heaven. If you love your gourmands, you will love strawberry marshmallow cookies. So go get you some. So I have three clamshells here. I would say uh, I wouldn't repurchase any of these three. Um, I don't know if it was because they were in the clamshell. I didn't enjoy uh, these three at all, actually. Like they weren't bad, but they weren't something I would repurchase again. This one's blackberry lemon birthday, blackberry jam, lemon zest, and vanilla cream blended with birthday cake. This was good, but again, it's just like, it's nothing spectacular. Whereas I find that her blends in the bags, I don't know, they're just that much more fun. This is frosted blackberry cookies. This is frosted sugar cookies with a dollop of blackberry jam. Again, it was good, but nothing like sensational. And Nog Cream, this is sweet caramelized brown sugar, clove, ylang ylang with hints of cotton candy, vanilla, and musk. It's said to be a lush yognog type. I did not feel like this was a yognog type at all. Did not, and I love yognog and I have it, but um, I wouldn't repurchase, I don't think, in clams. But again, there's a lot of scents from hers that I really love. Her. So these items here were from Myra and Kyla. These are just one-offs. This is a Yankee candle centerpiece in ease, oh sorry, in Autumn Gathering. 
and this one is in roasted chestnuts. Neither of these are up my alley. I don't enjoy them. Um, she sent them for purposes of making it lighter in the shipping process with um, just the lids for the, or just the sticker so I knew what it was. Otherwise, I didn't have anything. But I didn't like these. They're definitely not my scent alley. I appreciate the fact that she sent them, but um, definitely nothing I would purchase again. Another one off is my chopped up candle, my beloved DW Home Noir Vanille de Pack. This was fantastic. Um, it rivals, but not the same as Little Black Dress in a Jar from Root Candle Company Tobacco Noir, but this is beautiful. It's, it's gorgeous. I'm so glad and was able to enjoy this even longer and in more parts of my home. 100% if I saw this in the store again, I would get it. It's just a sexy beast of a candle. Love this one. And then next up, we're going to talk about Goose Creek, which is my one of my favorites. Actually, I really do enjoy Goose Creek wax melts. So again, these ones were sent to me by Myra and Kyla. This is da uh, Dazzling Popcorn, and this one's Mahogany Driftwood, neither of which are up my scent alley. I didn't really enjoy the scents, but again, thank you very much. Um, then we have, oh, thanks to Ramona. She got me hooked on this. This is strawberry jam. If you guys want an authentic, true homemade strawberry jam, the sugary, beautiful, yummy dollop on your toast or over ice cream or any of that, this is your jam. This you need to get. And when I placed a Goose Creek order with Ramona a while ago, we were hoping this was gonna be on the website and it was not. Ugh. We only buy them when they're on sale for $2 a piece, that's 50% off. And they did not have as many sales in 2020 um, as they usually did. So we waited and waited and waited. But anyway, you guys, um, I love Goose Creek. There's a couple other ones I'm really gonna, I'm gonna talk about that I really like, but this is probably my favorite Goose Creek wax melt. 100% repurchase. Okay, another one that I absolutely love. I'm not a big peanut butter in my scents, in my home fragrance, but this is nice because it's not heavy peanut butter. It really is the waffle cone and some creamy, little bit of nuts thrown in there, maybe a little bit more almond than anything. And I really did enjoy this one so much, obviously that I've purchased multiples. Um, this was a repurchase, would be a repurchase, 100% would recommend this particular scent in peanut butter sugar. And last but not least, Sweet Banana Bread. Really enjoy this one. Wish there was a little bit more banana in it, but that's okay. But I really enjoy this one for what it is. It's great. I can't get this kind of scent, it seems, most places. I think Ramona's had some luck with Destination Wax. Um, I think she created one that was like a banana bread, so... Uh, but I did like this. This is a repurchase of mine and it would be repurchased in the future. So that's it, everybody. That is everything that I have from all these miscellaneous vendors. Thank you so much. This is the last installment of all of my wax melt empties for 2020. Uh, what's going to come up at the very end is I'm just going to, as I was showing you guys all of, the, of these wax melts, I've been setting aside my favorites. So I'm going to do a favorites for all of 2020 of everything I melted. Not a top 20, not a top 30. It's probably going to be like more like top 80 at this point. But anyway, I will share that with you guys at the very, very end. As always, be safe, take care, and have fun. Bye, guys.